how what's up guys so today we're going to continue our locomotion system and we're going to implement some overlay states which will allow us to play different animations on different body parts so let's begin um, first things we need is to import the animations so let's go to characters mannequins animations to the queen folder because we're going to use female animations create a new folder called pistol and another one called rifle okay open the pistol one get uh the animations that are in the description or from the lara templates pistol idle ads drag it in select the skeleton import all now go back to the rifle folder get the rifle animations this one drag it in select the skeleton import all okay so file save all now let's go back to the animations folder and right here we're going to create a new enumeration which will be called overlay states okay open it up and here we're going to define the names for our overlays so add a new one which will be called default which is the unarmed right the second one which will be the pistol and the third one the rifle okay save this you can close this now we need to go to our character okay and we're going to create a variable which will use that enumeration so create variable call it overlay state the type will be the enumeration so overlay states like this and right here we need to change this to replicated okay now if you compile and save you should have now the selector which holds um, our overlay state okay now uh, the other thing we need to do is go to our replication graph and create the events that will allow us to change the overlay state so here we can say add custom events we can call it um, set overlay um, client copy this one now you can say set um, overlay server and this one will run on the server and this one will run on the client okay now <clears throat> we can get our overlay state right here and say set connect this here connect this to the event and that's it now the same thing here <clears throat> connect here connect to the event and that's it now we can comment this and say overlay state okay uh, now to test this out we are going to use the aim key to set an overlay state or remove it so basically let's go to the event graph and right here on the aim the right mouse button we're going to expand this a little bit so uh, like this uh, here we can say set overlay server and then set overlay client okay now you can copy this and move it here so if we are aiming we are setting the overlay to the pistol okay select the pistol here if not we set the overlay to the default overlay state okay that's basically it um so now we need to go to our animation blueprint and get this overlay state variable in order to uh, switch between animations so let's do that let's go to um, content characters mannequins animations many and let's go to the event graph where we added this character variables thing we're going to expand this a little bit like this and from the character we're going to get the overlay state like this and we're going to set that as a variable in our animation blueprint like this okay that's it compile save now we need to go to our animation graph and change a few things so that we can um, uh, use 
basically a upper body animation and a lower body animation and we also uh, change the upper body based on the overlay state so right here we're going to break this link right here we're going to move this here and from here we're going to say save cache pose we can rename it to main states and this will basically just uh, save this into memory so that we can uh, um, call it from whenever we want to so um, that's it now over here we're going to split the body into two for that we're going to say layer blends per bone okay now you've probably seen people using this uh, you can uh, basically configure the bone that you want um, to split on but I'm going to use a blend mask instead of branch filter, okay? Because uh, this character already has some blend masks. If you select this right here and right here, you can see some blend masks already created. We are going to use the upper body, lower body split mask, okay? Which will divide the body into two. Now we can select mesh space rotation and mesh space scale, okay? Compile, save. Now, um, our base pose will be our main states. So we can say main states, use cache pose. As you can see, we can now um, call the main states here and uh, blend them with other animations. Now, here it will be our overlays, right? So we need to create a new state machine. We can call it overlay states. Okay, open it up. From here, we're going to create a new state called overlays, okay? And inside it, we're going to switch between the overlay states based on our variable, okay? So um, when we create enumerations, you can uh, use them to blend between poses. If you say blends and then the name of the enumeration, so overlay state, you can see that now I have this node which will allow me to transition between overlay states. If we right click and select the pistol and then select the rifle, you can see that now I have two pins to connect some animations. So let's connect this to the result. Okay, the overlay state will be connected here. So we're going to change based on that. And the default pose will be our main states again. So main states like this and now we can drag our animations so here we can search for ads get the pistol and the rifle now connect the pistol to the pistol the rifle to the rifle and we can also set the blend times uh, to 0.3 so that makes uh, the transition a little bit smoother and that's it um, now any other overlay state we need you could just right click and select the new overlay state if you add it to the enumeration and you can have multiple overlay states. Now let's go back to the animation graph. Um, right here we're going to get the, this default slot, paste it here, okay. Now um, we're going to change the slot to upper body, okay, so that we can play um, montages as well on the upper body part. And we're going to connect this to our blend pose, okay? Now, um, our blend weights, I'm going to set this to 1.5 because this will uh, basically apply more strength to the overlay which will make it uh, be exactly as the animation is. You can set it to 1, uh, it will bounce a little bit, maybe it's more realistic to you, uh, but this is just my preference, okay? Now, from here, we're going to cache this into a pose. So, save cached pose and call this upper body. Okay. <clears throat> That's it. Um, now, right here on our main states, we can use that upper body. Okay. And set it as a result. Now, we can uh, comment this and say main states. Okay, and we can also comment this and say um, cached poses, okay, like this. Um, and that's it. We should now uh, be able to 
um, use our overlay states. So let's test it out. If you close this and this and hit play. Now, when I aim, I should be able to use my overlay state, as you can see. So uh, the hands are not following the mouse. That's what we are going to do in the next video. This video is just to play the animations. But as you can see, everything is working nice. Um, the transition is smooth. Now we can also test the rifle. If we go to our character and on our aim function, if we set this to the rifle instead of the pistol, we should be able to switch to the rifle animation. As you can see, now it is a different animation. So um, that's it. Now we can also test this out on the server to see that uh, everything is working. So let's do that right here. Select two players, server. And right here, um, I'm going to aim. And as you can see, the server also sees the animation. Okay, so that's it. This is how you can uh, implement the overlay states and divide the body into two. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something with it. And don't forget to subscribe.